Hi, I'm Rich Stauffer with PSB Edmonton, and this week we're talking about the hip hinge, which is a fundamental movement pattern. The hip hinge involves most of the body, from your quads, hamstrings, and glutes, to the musculature around your spine, as well as your upper back, and this is certainly not a comprehensive list. The hip hinge that most people are familiar with is the deadlift, but there are other useful variations, such as the kettlebell swing variations. The barbell deadlift is a common hip hinge that is used because the barbell lacks the balance handle built specifically to facilitate lifting a heavy load. If you can master this basic variation, then you're well set up to apply that ability to pick up other, often lighter objects. That doesn't mean that the barbell deadlift is going to be appropriate for everyone, however. It is simply a starting point. The important thing for everyone to remember is to find a variation that works well for you, that you can do pain-free, as well as it allows you to progress weight. This could be a partial range of motion deadlift with the barbell, a landmine setup, or a kettlebell swing or deadlift. Indeed, the more objects we practice lifting safely in the controlled environment of the gym, the more chances of success we give ourselves and less chance we have of injuring ourselves at home or at work. Back injuries account for between 14 and 70% of the injuries in the calf, according to a 2016 study. Stuart McGill, arguably the authority on the human spine, states the ability to hip hinge is foundational to the ability of the hips to fully express their athleticism as well as avoid using the spine in a manner which is guaranteed to lead to back injury over time. For more information on integrating the hip hinge into your programming and or to book a technique session with a PSP fitness instructor, contact your local PSP office. Thanks for watching and happy hinging.